in my opinion, in my opinion, in my opinion, I think as a guy, you have to have some scenarios in your head that you're willing to die for. Because unfortunately, guys, we have a thing called male pride. And it's something that we can't get rid of. It's hardwired into us. I, I'm of the belief that whoever created us hardwired male pride into us because it's an aspect of like protection. It's an aspect of our um, hunter-gatherer, looker-after biology, right? It's hardwired into our DNA. It's something that we can never get rid of because it helps to protect us and the people around us who we care and love about, right? So that's basically my premise in that regard. But I think in the modern age, that kind of hardwiring that pride thing kind of you know it gets put to one side because people want to talk about things they want to discuss things they want to have uh, you know conflict resolution they want to de-escalate de situations but there are some occasions where de-escalation is not an, is not a option it shouldn't be your first option your first option should be violence there are some occasions that happen in your life where the first option is always the best option in that instance. Later on, you can have a bit of de-escalation and you can chill out. But in that exact moment, you have to choose violence. And I personally think one of the key moments you have to choose violence, and again, there's not many. There's not many situations in your life, but there has to be, you have to, you have, to have maybe at least three scenarios in your head where violence is appropriate. Maybe somebody breaking into your home while you're there, sleeping with your family or wherever it may be. Maybe when somebody touches a family member of yours or when somebody touches somebody that you love, right? Like a partner, whatever it may be. But it has to be some scenarios in your mind. And it doesn't matter what it is. It could be somebody kicking your fucking dog, whatever. You have to have a scenario in your mind where violence has to be the first option. And in my opinion, this is one of those occasions. You have that tweet. And as you can see in that video, if you haven't seen this, it looks like a traffic dispute. It looks like some sort of road rage incident. And the lady, and this is a couple, the boy and the girl, she gets out of the car and she gets into an altercation with the guy behind. And the big guy behind decides to then beat up the woman and the man at the same time. Now, in my opinion, in this type of scenario, this is when you have to be, this is when you have to be willing to either die or go to jail. These sort of scenarios. This is one of those scenarios where you have to be willing to die or go to jail. You cannot let anybody anybody no matter how big they are how any of size they may be as brendan would say to lay their hands on your partner in your fucking um you know in your presence that's something that you should ever lay let happen now you could be somewhere else and they tell you after the fact fair enough but if you're there in that situation and you allow this to happen you will never be able to forgive yourself and most likely she will never be able to forgive you that's the real that's the real crux of it. She might never look at you the same way if you let yourself just stand there and get attacked by this guy and not throw up any kind of defense. You could lose. Again, you could get knocked out. You could lose. You could get choked out. You could get your arm broken, whatever it may be. But the fact that you actually try to put your body on the line will go a long way than seeing you, you know, push him back like as if he's a, I don't know, like as if he's some sort of person handing out leaflets on the street when actually he's inflicting violence. This guy should be on the floor. His entire white t-shirt should be full of blood. It should be full of his blood, not even your blood. Do you know what I mean? That's how it should be. You should be running over him with your car, whatever, maybe hit him in with the, over the head with the pole in the back of your boot, but something. But you can't just be acting as if this is no big deal. I cannot understand this. Like, And again, I'm not too sure what's, why this happens. Maybe it's more sort of a fear thing. That could, be a, that could be a reason, right? Maybe fear takes over you and you're just too scared of getting beaten up. But in my personal opinion, pain is temporary, pride is forever. Pain is temporary, pride is forever. You will never be able to forgive yourself for never standing up to the person. Again, look, look, he's turning his back. He's turning his back to the guy while the guy reigns, you know, overhand strikes over his girl. Can you, can you ever imagine that happening? Look, turning his back to the guy, turning his back while the guy reigns over hands of a strikes. That's not ever happening in my regard. You know what I mean? You could kick him in the nuts. You could do so many things to kind of disarm him. But you would never be able to live yourself if you never, ever stood up for somebody. And again, there's not many occasions in the world that you have to do that, but you have to have some scenarios in your head as a man where you kind of play it through your head and you think to yourself, hey, if somebody was to ever try to burgle my house while I'm in there, you have to be willing to die. You have to be. 
You have to be willing to you know, protect your space, protect the people that live in your space, protect yourself in any way, shape or form. Same thing goes for your partner. And if you can't do that, I don't know what you're doing, man. I don't know what you're doing. You know what I mean? I don't know what you're doing. You have to be able to really put your life, your body on the line for the sake of your pride at some point. So you just have to. Not every situation, you have to. And there are, there is a, there is a scenario, there is a scenario where I can see where maybe you could tell me, okay, maybe the girl's in the wrong. Maybe she's one of those girls that likes to get into men's faces, right? There are those girls that exist who think that if they get into a man's face, they can use their femininity as a way to kind of protect them because they're, they're, they know that most men won't hit them. Cool. But there are some guys out there that don't care. There are some guys out there that don't have this idea that, oh, men shouldn't hit women. They'll hit anything that moves. So if your girl puts you in a situation where she makes you have to fight somebody like this, you have to beat up him and then beat her up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You have to beat him up first, right? Then when you go back home, you have to beat her up or leave her. That's what you have to do if she purposely puts in those situations. But every scenario always starts with you beating up the aggressor. You have to. You have to engage. You have to engage. You have to. Again, you could break up with her later. You could push her out of the moving car later. You can do what you want to her later. But in that situation, you have to for your own pride. Because if anything as well, you know what this is? You know, I was just thinking. This isn't really an issue about protecting the girl's honor. It's more so you. Because any man who feels like they can step to your girl in your presence and feel like there's not going to be any re you know, repercussions or repercussions, it's definitely because they don't respect you. They look to you and they thought, you know what? You're not a threat. So they step to you because they think they could get away with it. That's when you know you have to put your hands on somebody. So yeah, um, what do you guys say here in the chat? It doesn't matter. You got to break up with her if that's the case, but you can't let it happen. Exactly, Sarlux. Exactly. Um, Rodeo Britta says, getting punched isn't that bad. Exactly, Rodeo Britta. It really isn't that big of a deal. Most people can't punch anyway. So it's not like he's going to knock you out. Most people can't hit well. So you have to just get close to him enough to, you know, lock him up body-wise. And if he hits you, you just hit him back. For every punch he gives you, you punch him back once, at least. It's not that big of a deal, really. really isn't. Um... And it'll make for a fun story later when you tell the lads later that you got into a fight. You know what I mean? It makes for a fun story. You come back home with a black eye, you, your hand's a bit busted up. You know what I mean? The company makes for a fun story. Uh, Blast pepper spray, exactly. Bored dude getting his fucking wig split. Is my <laughs> That's my wife. Exactly, Jordan Ray. Exactly, exactly. You have to be able to stand up for something, man. You can't just be dying. You know what I mean? If you don't stand for something, you'll die, you'll die for absolutely... you stand die for absolutely... No, no, no. If you don't die for something, you'll stand up for nothing. That's what I'm going to say. If you don't die for something, you'll stand up for nothing. And I think in this scenario, again, this could be your mom, this could be your brother, whoever it may be, you have to do something. You have to. You fucking have to. But hey, what do I fucking know? <laughs>